Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, as we were discussing the size reduction of agricultural products, so in previous lecture we have discussed that what is the size reduction, why we are reducing the size of agricultural product. Okay, so majorly the size reduction is used to draw the agricultural product to grade it into different categories to make able the product for transportation and also to convert one form of the product into another form. And remember that the size reduction is mainly a, a physical uh, process okay a physical uh, processing operation in which we are just changing the mechanical properties the physical properties no chemical changes will be occurred in the uh, agricultural product and mainly also we have discussed that the cutting crushing grinding milling caning shredding chopping heveling scratching polishing sorting and mixing these are the different uh, operations which can be termed as size reduction operations okay and also we have discussed that how we will evaluate the performance of a machine which is reducing the size of the agricultural product so mainly the performance of a machine is depend on its capacity okay the that how much product it is reducing how much power is required to reduce the material what is the size and shape of the product before reduction and after reduction and also that performance depend on its physical characteristics the history of the product physical characteristics mean the shape the size the moisture content and also the method of reduction that is most important okay that how you are reducing the product uh, today we will discuss that uh, different procedures that how you will reduce the uh, agricultural product what is the method of reduction what is the procedure of reduction okay and also we have discussed the uh, different classes of the reduced material so mainly we have three classes one is the dimensional range second one is the sieve range and third one is the microscopic range okay mainly we are interested that what is the size of the agricultural product before the reduction and after reduction so mainly in agricultural product mostly we are uh, dealing with the um, uh, reduced size of the granular product so that is mostly that is in the range of the uh, 0 0.125 to 0 0.0029 inches okay and that size will be determined by sieve analysis method by Taylor sieves your screen analysis analysis method which we have discussed in the previous lecture and after the sieve analysis then we are able to find out the finest modulus of the uh, reduced product okay and with the help of the finest modulus then we are able to find out the size of the product the average size which is 0 0.0041 uh, multiplied by 2 to the power finest modulus which will be determined with the help of the screen analysis CU analysis okay so from this you are getting just the average size of the grains just the average size of the reduced material again we have no information about the uh, size variation that either the reduced product is coarse or medium or fine sizes so then we classify it yeah we can find out the percentage of that uh, size uh, variation um, which is called the uniformity index so again we have discussed this procedure like in the given example 30 percent is the coarse 50 percent is medium and 20 percent is fine okay so this was just the revision of the previous lecture uh, now today we will start the procedures of the size reduction okay so mainly we have three procedures that the agricultural product can be reduced by three procedures one is called the cutting second one is crushing and third one is shearing okay mainly we have two procedures one is cutting and second one is crushing shearing is the combination of cutting and crushing okay that is the combination of cutting and crushing so actually see what is cutting so that is the reduction of the agricultural product which is produced by pushing or forcing a thin sharp knife through the material to be reduced okay suppose if we have fruits or suppose we have vegetables and suppose we reduced it into different pieces by uh, pushing or forcing a thin sharp knife 
through that material okay suppose that sharp knife that thin knife is used to reduce this agricultural product this fruit or vegetable into different pieces so that is cutting and what will be the result produced due to cutting see there will be no deformation there will be no rupture occurred in the reduced particle okay mean just the product will be reduced in different pieces and there will be no deformation there will be no rupture there will be no uh, damage in the reduced pieces okay so the new surfaces that are produced by the sharp edge of the knife are relatively undamaged okay just the product is reduced in different pieces remember there will be no deformation there will be no rupture there will be no damage to the product okay and see when you reduce the product in different pieces when you cut the product in different pieces then the internal surfaces will be exposed into the environment the internal surfaces areas will be exposed into the environment and see why we are using this cutting so that is mostly used for drawing and leaching purposes okay which is requiring the conversion of uh, liquid into vapor form yeah just to remove the moisture content from the product so we are cutting it into different pieces and then the surfaces the internal surface of the product will be exposed into the environment and the moisture content can be easily evaporated can be easily removed from that product okay and see the cutting device will be just a knife and that will be of extreme sharpness and as thin as possible okay mean the cutting will be depend on the uh, sharpness of the cutting device okay and it will pro provide a smooth cut probably with less energy mean when the uh, the 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 sharpness of the knife is suppose that is that is more sharp then less energy will be required for cutting okay the second uh, size reduction procedure is crushing so that is the reduction by applying a force to the unit to be reduced in excess of its strength for example if we have grain yeah for example if we have walnut see we have discussed that we have three types of the agricultural product one is the fibrous product okay second one is the uh, dry product and third one is the sticky product okay so suppose if you have the dry product for example walnut or for example some grain okay so then it has some internal stress it has some internal strength which resists the external forces if you are applying it on the product so if some external force greater than the strength of the product is applied on it so it will be reduced it will be disintegrated in different pieces so that is called the crushing okay simply if suppose you have a walnut and for example you hit it by a hammer so it, its size will be reduced it will be crushed okay so that is called the crushing simple similarly uh, failure result by rupture of material now remember by crushing if you are reducing the size of the product then the product will be damaged rupture will be occurred the surface will be not uniform the shape will be not uniform the size of the uh, reduced material will be not uniform okay the resulting particle will be irregular in shape because you are hitting it by a single uh, you are hitting the product by a single force okay with the help of suppose hammer so the size the shape that will be irregular rupture will be occurred damage can be occurred into the product okay the characteristic of the new surfaces and particles are depend upon the type of material and the method of force of application okay see when we have the product in initial condition which you have to be reduced second one is the reduced product so see the characteristic of this new product the shape of this new product the size of this new product will be depend on the characteristics of the um, original product mean its shape its size its moisture content and most importantly the application of force that how you are hitting the product how you are applying the external force for the reduction purposes okay and crushing is used to extract the juice from the sugar cane okay normally you may have seen that suppose we have two um, uh, drums and the sugar cane is introduced in between these two drums and they are applying some force on the material 
okay and the product and then the juice is extracted from it so that is also an example of crushing yeah suppose if you have some large size of stone or uh, fertilizer or for example grains so we have a type of um, hammers okay these are suppose four hammers it is suppose rotating in this direction and single this large size of particle is coming in contact with this hammers and these hammers are hitting the product and reducing it into small pieces so this is also an example of crushing here you can see this is the result of crushing having irregular shape having irregular size having ruptures are damaged into the um, original product Okay, hammer mill is used for crushing. Simplest example is converting wheat into flour. So actually the hammer mill is hitting the individual grains of the product and converting it or reducing its size into powder form. Okay, limestone, fertilizer and flour which are produced uh, through crushing. Okay, similarly, uh, third type of the size reduction procedure is shearing so that is the combination of cutting and crushing see if the cutting device is sharp and thin then the product which will be reduced into different pieces then that procedure will be called cutting and if the cutting device is dull and thick and the product is reduced just by hitting uh, a single um, by hitting uh, 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 um, uh, a single time then it is crushing and when these two is used in combination then it will be called shearing simplest example of cutting is for example if you are cutting the fruits or suppose you are cutting the vegetables in different pieces so we are using knife for it so that is simplest example of cutting okay now suppose if you have walnut or suppose you have grain for example you have wheat and you are converting it into flour so again it will be uh, hated by a number of um, uh, a number of time with the help of hammers or something uh, dull uh, uh, dull device so that is called the crushing okay and the example of shearing suppose converting the uh, meat into uh, suppose if you are converting meat into mens okay keema jo banate hain uh, usse gosht se so that is a type of shearing usme cutting be involved hota hai aur usme crushing be involved hota hai okay if the shearing edge is thin and sharp then it will be cutting and if the uh, edge is thick and dull okay then the uh, shearing will be um, um, we can say that that will be more near to the crusher okay and when these both are combinedly used then it will be called shearing shearing is usually used for reducing the material of a tough fibrous nature where some crushing may be advantageous and the resulting unit are of large uniform size simplest example of this tough fibrous nature material is suppose meat okay gosht and suppose you are converting it into mens keema ko agar aap usko usko convert karte hai na keema mein theek hai so that will be the simplest example of the shearing in which we have also um, uh, apply the crushing procedure and the cutting procedure okay the cutting procedure is used to reduce it into small pieces and then the crushing procedure is used to um, convert it from meat into mens okay the shearing unit consists of a sharp knife and a bar the knife is usually thick to withstand the shock that result when it is when it hits the material okay mean the the see one is the cutting unit so the cutting unit will be consist of sharp and thin edge so that so that the product may be reduced into different pieces by less application of uh, forces okay by 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 uh, less strength by applying uh, um, we can say that less amount of force similarly crusher that will be uh, a dull type of hammer will be used just to hit the product okay and the shearing unit will be consist of both sharp knife and a dull uh, shearing unit okay that combinedly both cutting and crushing will be used for the, uh, so then it will be called the shearing so just remember just for information purposes that the cutting crushing and shearing these three 
or the main procedure through which we can reduce the size of the agricultural product okay